Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> Welcome to the correct views. I mean that too. Welcome aboard. Please hit share, hit subscribe. Let other people know that I am out here. Because as I said during, uh, during the last posting, I'll mention it again as people uh, trickle in here. Um, there has been a massive effort to silence anybody who doesn't follow the party line, so to speak. And that's never been more clear, never been clearer than anywhere in all that we can see than it is as it pertains to the nuke industry. It's during that color correction thing, and I just programmed the camera not to. So I need a camera, but that's another story. Here's what we're looking at, friends. There has never been a time when those of, those of us out here telling the truth have seen more pushback. When I first started this, I mean, we were able at least to share the videos and earn our own traffic and or criticism. That is not the case at all. And people are just now starting to see little nuances that are pointing to a bigger problem than what they thought all of this was going to be. What do I mean by that? The movements will oftentimes cannibalize themselves by splintering and splintering and branching off and branching off. Uh, to some degree, the uh, Christian churches uh, had that problem to where they, in some denominations, they lose track of the main things. It happens in gatherings that are also not necessarily of a religious nature. And one of them is the left. Of course, the left is anti-nuke, anti-nuke, anti-nuke. The left has always been, historically, wisely, anti-nuke. And then someone like me comes around, obviously pro-Trump, pro-Constitution, libertarian, pro-First Amendment. Um, I'm against nukes. I think they're a horrible idea. I think history has shown us that they're a horrible, horrible idea. And there's people on the left now who have been programmed by the global warming ruse to support nuclear energy as the answer. Again, splintering off the left, heading towards what, by their own words, is a communist goal. Well, the trouble is, just like they didn't stop with uh, those of us who don't tote the party line as it goes to leftist politics, the same is going to happen to those of us who don't support nuclear power. And then it's going to splinter to something else and something else. And it's going to go back to what the uh, wise priest said, that if you don't stand up to it, then soon there won't be anybody to stand up for you because everybody else will have already been silenced. Yes, I paraphrased it. But I think you all know exactly what I mean. Do me a favor, if you could, please hit subscribe, hit share, hit like. If you wish to donate, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. All right, friends, into it. Um, Indiablooms.com. Now, where is the... Uh... Before I get into this, I want to say candidly that I'm not against the idea that there is life different from what we would know it. As a Christian, I'm also someone who... Personally, wouldn't know how to tell a, uh, a demonic entity from an alien. So, because I would question whether or not... Uh, any, well, Sam's just a nutty Christian. Okay, then all Muslims are nuts because they have demons. They have the jinn. Okay, the, the, the genie was not the hee-hee, what do you kind of wishes? Do you want a genie? No. Actually, the horror movie, uh, the jinn, is a lot closer to what they were. So they're crazy. Of course, the Jews would all be crazy because they believe in demons and possession. And um, the, the Hindus are all nuts because there's many, many entities that they, they pray to to prevent things like that from happening. So all of these, all of these belief systems are all crazy, even though they report the same things. 
without prior knowledge of each other. So I question that. And then thirdly, and most nefariously, I don't trust the government world leaders at all. I wouldn't be surprised if the aliens that we are presented come down in a rainbow dress proclaiming their third gender oneness with Kamala Harris at this point. I'm saying that the aliens may just be whatever technology they can wow the masses with in order to push their agenda through. I look like a beaver. My mouth is dry. I know. Deal with it. Um, this is... These three outcomes are the only three outcomes there could be. There are aliens, there are uh, something we think are aliens and should probably avoid, or they are the government trying to move us in a certain direction. Here's what's frightening. Regardless of which three of those it is, and if you could think of another one, let me know in the comment line. This is a giant I told you so for every one of us who have stood proclaiming that there are things to which we don't understand. And it's not my words. It's a whole article here about how they don't understand. Things that we may not understand could come along. That's not a big deal if you're talking about a clock or if you're talking about, you know, an uh, um, upgrade to your computer. But when you're talking about nuclear power plants which have toxins that last for millions and billions of years as a half-life, and something that you don't understand comes along, be they demons, be they aliens, be they uh, governments with nefarious plans, whatever. Maybe we shouldn't have them. All of us who believe that have now got a great big, oh my God, I told you so. This is from IndiaBlooms.com. UFOs repeatedly took offline U.S. nuclear capabilities, ex-chief of Pentagon secret unit. Washington Sputnik identified flying objects, UFO, that does not necessarily mean alien, it means we don't know what it is, have repeatedly meddled with the U.S. nuclear technology, forcing some facilities to go offline. Ex-head of Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, Luis Anzondo, told the Washington Post. Now let's pause. Now this is going to be a video you want to share, because I've actually put a lot of thought into this, so do me a favor, share the damn thing. Um... Let's pause that. From there we have an interesting coincidence. And it may just be a coincidence, but just as all of this is coming of aliens, oh aliens, let's get everybody interested in aliens. Okay. It just happens to coincide with when all the cyber attacks are happening. So if you were prone to think that the government could be slightly less than honest, not that I'd ever think that, of course, but if you were somebody who could lean that way, then you're left with the idea that, oh, maybe somebody in the Biden administration, maybe old Sleepy Joe himself, he finally woke up, um, Maybe the president's uh, staff or somebody whispered in his ear and said, you know, we don't want to admit that we've been hacked. We don't want to admit a lot of things. So let's blame aliens. I mean, we can keep the Russian narrative going. But for the really big stuff, let's not admit that we got caught with our pants down. Let's blame this on aliens. Now, I'm not saying that that happened, but I am putting it out there because it's a remarkable coincidence. If any of you who follow the news cycles, whenever you smell coincidence, you smell rat. Okay, I just, you know, let me know what you think in the comment lines. It's interesting timing that this would be reported on now. I understand that some of these things were prior to that, but you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, not, not when they happen so much as when they're reported on. 
It goes on to say that the revelation comes ahead of the release of an unclassified report on unidentified aerial phenomenons UAPs, approved by, observed, excuse me, by U.S. Navy pilots, which is expected to be submitted to the Congress later in June. Now, in this country, we've had incidents where UAPs have interfered and actually brought offline our nuclear capabilities, is Londo said in the interview. Quote, while some may deem the incidents to be something that is peaceful, there is data suggesting that UFOs meddled with other countries' nuclear technology and actually turned them on, put them online. Now, I will say, in defense of those who uh, have been saying aliens, alien, alien, aliens, I, I think there it could be feasible for a, a burst of power to be read by the computer as on, because they're not just going to shut down. They are programmed not to do that. Now, the, the, um, that's pretty much where my associate's degree leaves off, but I can, I, I can let you know from what I learned in college enough to explain this a little bit, what may have happened in, in uh, a baby terms. The, 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 the programs can't, if they get a surge of power like that, they don't shut down. They have to make a decision. It's what's called an if-then-else control structure. If this happens, then this happens. If something else happens, then... Blah, 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 blah. Um, back to the splintering, but in a different way. Could turn nuclear power plants on. Just to say, again, I, I'm not planning to know what this is, but I am going to tie some data together and see what you guys think. I think that there is certainly, at this point, enough data to demonstrate that there is an interest in our nuclear technology. A potential to even interfere with that nuclear technology, as Elizondo said, noting there is nothing surprising about a possible increased interest in U.S. capabilities related to its nuclear technology. Commenting on the up-and-coming report, the expert said that it definitely stated once and for all that UAPs were not U.S. technology, nor were they Russian or Chinese technology. Well, that's interesting. Definitive, right at the time that we're having trouble with Russian and Chinese technology. That you might notice the other coincidence that, and again, I'm, I'm not Islamic, I'm Christian. Islamic fundamentalism seemed to end up everywhere right when George Bush needed it. Bush 2. Well, I guess Bush 1, too, when you think about it. But, um... I, noting that there is nothing surprising about a possible increased interest in U.S. capabilities related to nuclear technology. What if they didn't consciously do it? Okay, and I, I think it was, uh, oh, what's his name? The Asian gentleman, the physicist. He said something interesting. He had said, let's say you're in the field and you see a deer or you see an anthill. You would not be able to have any way to explain to them what you're doing if you were doing something like uh, I'm paraphrasing here creating an easement where the uh, the power lines go through the you know, forest or whatever the deer was to observe you doing that they would say it's not unusual for these aliens to plant their own trees and hang wires from them for the birds to sit on no it's not at all what was done mankind putting up metal poles in the midst of trees so that we could power our homes. We could never explain that to a deer or an ant. The idea that our nuclear power plants were somehow tampered with on purpose is a stretch of reasoning that isn't uh, unreasonable 
but it is a leap of faith that I don't think that there is proof on. And I would like to see the proof that this is not from Russia or China. I'd, I'd love to see that proof. And it may have come out because this was reported. Uh, uh, if, yeah, what was the date on this? Uh, June 18th. Or they, you know what? So it hasn't. All right, that is today. So no, it hasn't. That's just coming. All right. Friends, moving onward, give me your thoughts on that. Please do. Uh, AA.com. China says Japan repeatedly betrayed public trust in the Fukushima response. Beijing thinks, says Tokyo's handling of Fukushima disaster casts doubt over so-called safe methods and the credibility of data. Now, what's funny about that is the whole world could very easily say, now follow this headline with me here, the whole world could very easily say, the world says China repeatedly betrayed public trust in COVID-19 response. The world says to China that their handling of the COVID-19 disaster cast doubt over so-called safe methods, credibility of data. All of that also fits, particularly in light of the Fauci uh, email. So, I'm going to say that China knows a thing or two about what they're talking about, and in this instance, even though they are butcherous, uh, terrible people that run that country, they are 120% correct. Japan has misled the world on this. And let, let me let you in on, on another little insight, which you may not have put together here as two and two equal four. We know about Japan, uh, Russia's problem cleaning up uh, nuclear issues to the best they can via Chernobyl uh, and somewhat lesser known um, the Mayak disaster where the skin was quote unquote sloughing off their bones. We know about wind scale in England, uh, U.S. disasters, uh, particularly um, Three Mile Island. We don't think a lot about what China has learned. But their neighbor, one of their neighbors, is North Korea. And I mention this because North Korea has managed to poison an entire mountain. If they're worried that they've, taken, they've done so much bombing in the mountain that it, the mountain itself is leaking. And there's, you know, fissures and cracks. And, and uh, they're worried the whole thing might cave in on itself. It is a nuclear disaster. It's not like Fukushima, but it's bad. You wouldn't even have North Korea still being able to do anything other than, you know, eat tree bark if it wasn't for China. It's no great mystery here why that mountain isn't a bigger problem. It's because China has been helping to deal with this. They, they, they're the hand in the puppet for North Korea in, in many different ways. Now... The madness of the uh, the Un family has definitely, uh, the Kim family, has definitely made this not that cut and dry. But uh, believe me, China has their hands very deep in preventing that from being a problem in their country, at least to the best of their ability. So when they speak on this, I think I'm quite reasonable in what I just laid out there for saying that in light of what the world knows about Japan, and now what China is saying, particularly in light of how hush-hush they are about saving the mountain in, uh, in North Korea, there's a, there's a lot to be learned here. And Kara, China on Tuesday repeated its criticism of Japan's plan to dump treated water, nuclear waste from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the sea. Uh, stay tuned, dumb deal of the day coming, hint, hint. Japan has repeatedly betrayed public trust over its handling of the Fukushima nuclear accident, Li Zhang Zhao, spokesperson for China's foreign ministry, said in a news conference in Beijing, according to state-run Daily Global News. He said that Japan's response to the Fukushima disaster of 2011 has left a big question mark over the rationality and scientific nature of its so-called safety method as well as authenticity and credibility of the data that it has provided. It goes on, 
Apart from China, South Korea, North Korea, the island of Taiwan, and other international bodies, including the UN, have previously voiced concern over Tokyo's idea to release treated wastewater from the destroyed nuclear power plant into the ocean in the next two years. It's times like this that I wonder what Christel would have had as a sound effect, because I don't remember the last time that Taiwan, North Korea, South Korea, and China have agreed on anything! Doesn't that alone have enough power to wake up at least a few people? I, I'm just, I'm boggled here. The U.S., however, has backed Japan's proposal because uh, TEPCO is uh, who caused the disaster. And you know where I'm going, right? Everybody, for, for the love of God, I hope you know this by now. Tokyo Electric is General Electric. Brings good things to life. American country. American company. Back the uh, Fukushima power plant that went red. So, of course, the U.S., however, had, however, my foot. The U.S., of course, has backed Japan's proposal because of the ties that I just laid out, which come after years of talks on how to get rid of more than one billion tons of water accumulated at the plant. We've covered that so many times. We will proactively take swift measures to deepen understanding of people in Japan and overseas, Katsunobu Koto, Japan's cabinet secretary, said last month. Yeah, we'll see how true that is. Two more stories to get you. Now, where can you donate again? Come on. And the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. And even more than money, like I've been saying, I definitely need you guys to hit share. I, this is uh, actually from Zero Hedge. I got it from InfoWars, but a lot, I mean, again, I, Alex has been proven right a million times. God, he's, he's looking, he looks so, so just, he aged like crazy. He's a year younger than I am. He used to be, uh, you know, a good looking guy, and now he's like, you know, he, he doesn't look bad. I mean, he looks healthy. He just, you know, looks older than he should. The poor man has worked so hard. Anyway, my point is, nice guy if you get to meet him. He was in our movie. Zero Hedge is the original source for this. And this should be more than made. And pretend this, pretend this said, uh, ooh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Donald Trump Jr., invested millions of dollars in Chinese nuclear power plant operator that prevented dangerous buildup of gases. That's, that's all you hear about on CNN for 150 years. However, if you go ahead and put in Hunter Biden, invested millions in Chinese nuclear plant operator that prevented dangerous gas buildup of, of dangerous buildup of gases. And suddenly it doesn't get any story. June 15th, it's not, you know, it, it, why isn't this everywhere? You tell me. You tell me, why isn't this everywhere? And if you don't know what that means, um, there are times that uh, nuclear gases, they need to be released anyway, even when they're running properly. That's why Dr. Helen Caldicott calls such releases a, uh, a routine release. is actually a routine cancer waiting to happen because they're toxic. Absolutely toxic. That's why cancer rates are through the roof when you look at uh, their proximity, where they live to nuclear power plants, where the people live, of course. So, and other animals. That's another story. This is something even worse than that. This was a build-up to which, as far as I know, I, I think, I think... It's been put under control. We don't really know because it gave us China, but this this was more severe than the routine cancer, as it were, that uh, Ms. Caldicott talked about. Listen, Hunter Biden's private equity firm, Dr. Caldicott, sorry. Hunter Biden's private equity firm invested millions of dollars in a Chinese state-owned nuclear power plant operator whose French partner warned the White House that the Taishan nuclear power plant in Gaozhdong, who we've talked about before with the flooding and the dam and how that could create a nightmare there, uh, the province was in danger of eminent radiological threat. Uh, eminent is not, you know, eminent for sure going to happen. Um, due to a buildup of noble gases 
in the cooling system of one of the facility's two reactors, according to the National Pulse. The incident, it goes on, has been downplayed by the Biden administration, well, of course, which uh, told CNN that the, between naps, I think, uh, told CNN that the facility is not yet at a crisis level and does not pose a severe safety threat. No, no, just a little bit of a safety threat to workers at the plant or Chinese public. But is there more to it? National Pulse. Natalie Winters reported on Monday, the Biden team's lack of concern comes as the primary operator of the Chinese-based plant, China General Nuclear Power Corporation, CGN, counts millions in investment from Hunter Biden. Oh, well, maybe that's why there's nothing to worry about. If I'd have known he was in charge, I'd have felt much better. Let's shut the camera off and call it a day. We all knew it. BHS Partners, the private equity firm where Hunter Biden served as a director since 2013, was a $10 million cornerstone investor in CGN's initial public offering. It took place in 2014, and the IPO was the second largest of that entire year, valued at over $3 billion. The company, which Hunter reportedly retains a sizable take in and uh, still lists CGN as part of his portfolio on their website. Then there it is. Lest you think I'm lying, there it is on fact can. Your donations paid for it to come back. Uh, what's more, in 2017, the CGN consultant was sentenced to two years in prison by the DOJ for approaching.